Hey everyone, it's Rad, and I want to thank Keen for they are the sponsor of this video. And don't skip ahead, for I do have a special and exciting announcement to uh, make, including a very, very special gift for anyone who is watching, which I will get to it a uh, soon. For those who doesn't know Keen, this amazing website provides you with an access to a vetted psychics, spiritual advisors who can provide a guidance and insight in into life's challenges, into clarity in love, into relationships, and as well into career and, and many, many more. And Keen, it is a one of the most uh, affordable way to get an instant psychic reading with a professional at any time, 24 seven. What I love about Keen is that it is perfect for anyone who wants to talk with someone right away, anytime, anywhere there is no wait and it is excellent if you do have a burning question that literally needs an answer right now and it is double perfect for if you are on a budget too and here is where my gift for you guys is coming in for anybody who wants to talk with advisor on keen just click my link in the description down below and you get a 10 minutes for just only two dollars and just see for yourself for i do support keen and i have been around the block a lot when it comes to um psychics readers and especially prophets and i can tell you that there are those who are false but uh judging by the way keen found me i can tell you that they are venting their uh advisors uh, very carefully and you i do encourage you to try it out especially if you do have questions that i cannot answer like for example about health like for example about a reallocation because Saro is just not designed for that uh, for example as well yes or no questions as well guys it's only two dollars for 10 minutes and i cannot think of a better way to try it out and uh, get the clarity you seek so there are a uh, tarot readers, psychic readers, uh, love and relationship advisors, and as well spiritual advisors there. Uh, and you can take your time to make a selection of the reader of your choice, establish a bond, which is going to establish as well a goal, be it a uh, intention setting, be it a, a chakra clearing, be it healing, manifesting, and many, many more. And what is also amazing there is that Keen provides every customer of theirs with a monthly discount, which is a um, clearly a way to show you that they do appreciate you being there and it also provides you with a way to afford multiple readings should you need so the signing up process very simple i'm going to show you how all that you have to do is just watch my screen very few simple clicks for their website it is made intuitively and it's just you cannot get it wrong and just in these few simple clicks you are get yourself ready to make your selection of uh, readers and dive into your spiritual journey right away so to use my gift just click in the link in the description box and get your 10 minutes with a keen advisor of your choosing for just only two us dollars and and see for yourself how amazing they really are with the variety of their uh, advisors and as well the prices which have a ton of variety too should you be on a budget thank you keen for sponsoring this video all right, Aquarius, so this is going to be your monthly reading for uh, April 2022nd. And uh, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel and you do wish to support us, just leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our uh, uploads, <clears throat> nor as well live streams. And uh, with that said, uh, let me finish here the shuffle do the cut and see what kind of a month you guys we guys are gonna have as i am rising aquarius uh, as well so starting up here uh, we do have the four of wands card followed by uh, the second one of the seven of cups uh, moving next uh, we do have the world 
and uh, the final prime card of our spread here is going to be the eight of wands so those four cards but i'm gonna draw one more card for each position so we do have the four of cups at the uh to the four of uh, the the two of cups i'm sorry to the four of wands then it is the six of pentacles to the seven of cups afterwards what we have that is going to be the queen of wands to the world card and the final one we have the page of cups to the eight of wands uh i don't want to lie to you aquarius uh, these cards does not look promising uh for our intimate life it's just they don't okay but instead what they look promising of it is a personal gains uh, personal accomplishments achievements if you will so maybe that's a month of september of um, april i'm sorry where we have to kind of like put our romantic incentive uh not to a hold but rather to develop itself on its own accord now the topic here in between two of cups and the four of uh, the four of wands it kind of shows that this this month itself it's very singular meaning that the accomplishments which we can do better at they do not involve other people okay so the best we can do throughout the month is uh, to make some kind of a symbiosis in between our romantic life and our business life so the romantic life does not interfere with the business life itself and in the business life it is where we are to make those uh, those accomplishments of the four of wands so what the four of wands really shows that not for others but for us throughout this month we will be able to establish a very solid uh finalizations of important cycles like uh we will be able to establish finalization in a big project uh in a big deal for example or maybe we are looking for work and that is the cycle of development that we are to establish where we are finding a solid job okay and we can see that this cycle is even stronger here with the world card that we do have meaning that it is there to stay so the least we want is somebody else interfering thinking that they know better than us okay what is better for us than us than us ourselves <clears throat> to tell us or try to influence us in another way either in in some way either through manipulation or either through i don't know emotional um, emotional interaction of what we should do and what is best for us to do so that way we can see that we have to put our personal relationships whether friendships or whether uh, you know uh, family relationship on the back seat that doesn't mean that we should not cling uh, we, we we should not be clinging to them whenever it's needed we should not put them as a pinnacle we should not put them as a virtue so <clears throat> other than that uh if we do hope to find friends that is going to be a very not friends connections okay do, let's not mistake friendships for connections so we will be able to establish a very strong connections throughout the month especially a business connections now what i do not like about this reading is having those two cards here of the second position seven of cups and the six of pentacles now those two cards could speak for a few things one of these things it is that throughout the month we may um, undertake aspects that are for the lack of better expression out of our league at least for that period of time what i mean here is that throughout the month we may involve ourselves in a uh, in a new beginning let's call it that way which all which have not been developed yet to be a new beginning it's no different than having an idea not knowing how this idea is going to settle but in the same time trying to settle it down without having the circumstances around without having the means to do it and we see here the same thing with those two cards literally what they say it is that unfortunately 
we are not as far as we think we are. Uh, it's just we are thinking two steps ahead while we have to focus on what it is at this very uh, at this very moment. And therefore, that's a that's a month where we should stay grounded. Okay, we should not fly into the cloud nine, and we should not take things like for granted and like they are a piece of cake. Instead, we should approach. Um, aspects of our lives, relationship, projects, uh, you know, interactions with extreme cautious uh, or caution, not because, you know, there is something bad in it, but because we may make a wrong move just before, just because we think that this is way too easy for us, you know, and we can do it with our uh, hands behind our back and it's going to turn out that that's not really, uh, that's not really the case. Another thing that pains me to say here uh, it is that within this month we may find people that we love uh, being a bit closed to us. What I mean is that uh, people that usually are sharing with us, they will find it difficult to share to us throughout the month for numerous reasons. Now the cards are not showing them, but just off the top of my head, maybe these people are seeing that, you, that we do have a lot of our, on our plate and they just don't want to worry us with something new that we cannot do anything about but rest assured here is just we are going to find it more difficult to connect with people emotionally than a previous month beforehand especially friends very good friends especially you know lovers suitors so on and so forth so let's um, stop talking about negativity because this is as far as the negativity goes throughout the month let's focus more on a positive um, positive aspects here so what is the positive aspect well we do have these two cards here as a positive aspect and they pretty much uh, speak about our uh, perfect performance uh, I, I don't know how to how to describe it really but let's put it that way uh, throughout the month whenever we are to set a goal uh, we will have that um, will to prevail no matter what and with this will to prevail it seems that we will find the niche we have to push into so we can manifest that goal and eventually what we are going to find ourselves into a again completion of important cycles of developments here which cycles um, usually when we, when you do develop a cycle, you know, afterwards you have to sustain it, but not in our case, because we are going to pretty much wrap the thing around and therefore sustenance is going to be not needed because it's pretty much settled. And what this is going to allow us to do moving forward into our future, it is that we can now start thinking of a new perspectives, which we can definitely see here at the end of the month. And while these cards are enemies, actually they play to our benefit because here the choice of what kind of a new enterprise we can undertake after this month ends it is entirely up to our preference that is what those uh, those two cards are talking about and additionally to it they kind of speak that there will be no no risk involved as well because we are to foresee literally everything that can happen and that can go wrong into those enterprises and not just only that but we are not going to be uh, for the lack of a better term i'm going to say drama queen about it we are going to be pretty much uh, i have to learn that english expression whenever crisis crisis ensue you know when people are very emotional about it they tend to do the wrong things or rather like they tend to escalate the crisis while people who are having a sharp mind about it they are kind of like keeping themselves calm and they do not waver under pressure they usually take the the the, the, the right choices and exactly this is how we are going to be although the uh, the aspects at the end of the month may touch us emotionally we are not going to allow our emotions to dictate the um, the actions that we are going to uh, incorporate either into our business here either into our relationship or into our family and therefore by the end of the month it seems that we're going to end ourselves up in the upper hand on top of the situation deciding how that situation is to move forward career wise or a uh, relationship wise another thing that is going to be very specific for certain people is that through these completion of important cycles of development that will allow you guys to uh, kind of like make a severance 
you know, from a very unhealthy emotional attachment. For example, you may be attached emotionally to a certain individual that you really feel for them, uh, but they have no positive uh, incorporation in your life. It is just only thing they do. It's kind of like a uh, overwhelm you emotionally with no benefit whatsoever. And through this completion of, of uh, important avenues, you will be able to finally uh, sever that emotional connection, whether it is because you're going to have a new life to, to handle, whether it is because through some of these avenues that person is going to settle down emotionally, uh, the, the manifestation could be different, but if there is a, a person that kind of like overwhelms you, like I said, emotionally with a wavering emotions with negative emotions rest assured by the end of the month that is not going to be the case anymore and uh, actually by the look looking the things that way then this enemy here that we do have in between the two of cups and the four of wands is actually beneficial it is because this severs up the unconditional emotional attachment people has toward one another which unfortunately makes sharing up things difficult but in the same time puts boundary that does not allow anybody to overwhelm us with a negative uh, with negative emotions and finally what i like to say is that for the love of god let's be cautious with our approach you may be very accustomed to a certain performance career wise relationship wise no matter things are going to be a little bit different this time around and we don't want to make a wrong move not because the wrong move is going to kind of like a make us lose anything but it is just going to disappoint us very very much we are going to feel crushed under that disappointment and th that is totally unneeded it's it's totally something we can avoid and we can avoid it by being objective about the situation by being grounded by taking things one step at hand instead of kind of like trying to stride three steps for the uh, to, to step i'm sorry three steps for the stride of one so with that said aquarius uh this was your monthly tarot reading guys great accomplishments a, a huge uh, finalizations is what we do have here which again are going to be very very personal they concern us nobody else and that's why we should not allow anybody to interfere with them and so yeah that concludes the reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we may see each other next time until then bye